Hey guys, it's Brandon from Electric Marketing. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a retargeting ad on Facebook. And what we're going to be doing is a carousel ad that just offers a discount code um, to head back to the website and purchase. Now, if you don't have your Facebook pixel set up yet, I'm going to put a link in the video that will show you how you can do that separately. Um, but this is assuming that you already have that set up. So first, you're going to go to your ads manager account and you're going to want to click here and scroll down to uh, audience. So right here, audiences, you want to click on that. And that's going to take you to this page where you can start to build out the audience that you're actually going to be targeting with your ad. So we're going to create a custom audience for this one based off of website activity. So we're going to be targeting all website visitors in the past 90 days. But we're going to exclude purchasers in the past 30. So this is only going to be targeting people who've come to our website in the past 90 days and have not purchased. Now we can change these metrics um, or sort of targeting attributes if we want to. We could do 180, we could do 120. It all sort of depends on what you see in terms of your return on ad spend. But typically what we'll do is anywhere from 90 to 120 days. We'll, tell, we'll call this 90 day retargeting exclude 30 day purchasers. Now we're going to create that audience. Now you can go back to your ads account to create the ad, or you can just do it right from here as it'll prompt you. So let's go ahead and just create an ad. So what we're going to be doing here, since it's retargeting, we're going to be focusing on conversions. We'll call this retargeting conversions. Now we're going to want to set up a discount code as well to actually incentivize this return and purchase. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to do it in Shopify, but it's pretty straightforward how to set up a discount code in any of these platforms, whether it's BigCommerce or WooCommerce. So what we're going to be doing is try DNX. Now I recommend turning on campaign budget optimization. Um, it's actually going to become mandatory, uh, at least it should be by the end of this year. Um, because Facebook wants to be able to optimize your budget across your different ad spends. Now we're going to optimize for purchase. Oh, we're not going to do an offer for this one. We're going to keep it pretty straightforward. You can do an offer. Um, I'm just not a big fan of how it sort of works. And here you can see we have our audience. So 90 day retargeting, exclude 30 day purchasers. And we're going to leave all of this standard. So this is our audience that we're going to use. You can click save this audience and we'll call it again the exact same thing. And we may test uh, different ad sets, and so I might have a 10% off and a 15% off and see whether or not that really makes a substantial difference. So that's why I called that ad set 10% off. Now what we're going to be doing is a carousel. And then I'm going to Take the discount code here to get a shareable link and this is the link that we're going to click out to for any of them so i'll just quickly run through and what this will do is it will append the discount code automatically to the cart so people don't have to enter it when they go in now i've already 
built out a couple of images here. I'm just doing square 1080 by 1080. So what we're going to do here is upload. Now, sometimes it'll let you upload multiple, upload multiple at a time. Others just have to click one. So we'll do this one first. We've been seeing really good click-through rates on Amazon with this one. This one should actually be first. So there you can go. You can see it live right here. Satisfy your meat tooth. And what we're going to do is we're going to add the primary text as well. Short and sweet. And we are going to try a few different variations. And we'll see which one performs better. Now we're just going to start to add in the other images. So we'll upload another one here. And for carousel, you're going to want to do the 1080 by 1080. And we're not providing a whole lot of context around the brand here because you've already been to the website at this point. And so what we're really focusing on is just showing high quality visual uh, assets and also enticing with the with the discount code and this is where we'll add in some different headlines here's where we can see all of them so you can see that you're really not seeing that much in terms of the actual copy where you will see more of a description is in Facebook. So this description is only going to show up in some cases. Now here you can actually select placements to edit. Uh, we're going to leave it as is for now. And this is we're going to leave this checked. It'll automatically show the best performing cards first. And our see more URL is going to be the same as all the other ones. Now I like to view it on desktop newsfeed because this shows everything that will potentially show up. And here it is. Pretty straightforward. Make sure you keep the conversion tracking on. And then what we're going to do here, you're going to want to make sure that you have U uh, URL parameters built. So typically these will be done at the account level. Um, but for the sake of showing you guys, I'm going to do it here. So it actually even tells you down here as well. And what we're going to want to do is select dynamic parameters, because then it'll pass through if it's going from Facebook or Instagram or wherever it may be. All right, so what I recommend is that you set up your campaign tracking this way. So what this is going to do is dynamically pull in the site source name, so Facebook or Instagram. This will pull in the actual placement. So it's gonna tell you whether it's an Instagram story, if it's an Instagram feed, if it's Facebook feed, and then the campaign name. We're gonna pull in the campaign name, but we also wanna see the ad set name because we wanna be able to break down performance by ad set. And then campaign content, we're just going to do 10 off. And we'll already know it's a retargeting campaign from the campaign name. And we'll add carousel as well. Now here we're going to apply. Now 
Now I'm going to show you again how to do it. But just so you know, when you do the URL parameter building in here or in here, it's only going to be for this. Whereas if you are to do it down at the bottom for tracking, this is going to apply to any click that happens. So let's do it one more time. Build the URL parameter. Site source name, turn to placement. We're going to do campaign name and then add, let's make sure this is the right syntax, add set dot name. Then we're going to do a 10 off. So, and there you have it. Now that'll apply. So what that's going to do, that's going to append these URL parameters to any of the click-throughs up here, whether it comes on one of the cards or if it comes on the Seymour URL as well. Now this is not super intuitive because the names don't match up from what Facebook calls it to what you should input so that it shows up properly in Google Analytics. So. Um, I'll drop it in the link below of what you should do. Now, let's go ahead and confirm. And that's it. Now we have a retargeting conversion ad. Uh, a carousel that's going to be targeting 90 day visitors but no no one who has purchased within the past 30 days so now anybody who visits the website within the past 90 days but who hasn't purchased in the last 30 is going to be shown this ad across facebook and instagram as they're browsing the internet um, this one's a pretty straightforward example but this is just a quick and easy way for you to start uh, targeting your traffic that's not converting immediately and we typically see very high return on ad spends here and like a cost per purchase anywhere from eight to twelve dollars um, and it's just pretty simple creative you get high quality visual visual assets put into a carousel offer some sort of a discount incentive and then you're on your way and that's about it thanks for watching as always if you have any questions feel free to reach out at any of the links below um, and keep staying tuned for more informational videos